Howdy folks and good morning. So yep, here we go. This is the uh, blood transfusion for the KE30. Good morning Ken, how are you? Hi, hi. So is this the oldest car so far or no? Yeah. I think our my Fiat, my Fiat is still older, the 127. Yeah, older. So this is an engine flush and you can tell already the uh, it's quite bad. This is the old uh, the old engine oil cap, which we're gonna change to the new one. Go ahead, bro. So basically, uh, pour it into the old engine oil, yeah. run the car for a while, five minutes or so, and then drain out everything. So not only are we draining the engine oil, folks, we're going to drain out the rear differential oil, the gearbox oil. We're changing the gearbox oil as well, right? Yeah. Changing the gearbox oil. And uh, for an old car like this, Momo Racing uh, mineral, mineral oil will be more than enough. Right. This is the uh, petrol filter, which I bought. Hopefully it's the same. Two prong. Yeah, should be the, should be the same. Yeah. Okay, so Right, so here we go. Start up bro. Okay. One crank. So, like I was saying about the driver's seat just now, I've got this pad which I bought from Mr. DIY and uh, it, it adds a little bit of cushioning for my bum bum but uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's uh, quite, uh, quite, quite bad actually. But surprisingly, not as bad as that. Hmm. But yeah, nothing that uh, my buddy Aheng can't fix. So by and large, for a 1979 car, it's still quite smooth. A bit of knocking going on there. That's, that's my barangs. I hope. The good thing is though, this car, thanks to uh, this sticker here, which I'm trying to get for you, which you cannot see. There we go. This car was serviced, well, yeah, more than a year ago. Even though the mileage is nowhere near 80,000, 111, it's at uh, 76, uh, 400 or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's been a year, so it's, it's the time. It's the time! Right folks, so uh, it has begun. The uh, blood transfusion has begun and uh, the car is going to be here. So anybody want to drop by, say hello to the KE30, which is oh, probably older than 80% of you who are watching this. Come, come, come. And uh, yeah, see the car for itself. So back to the driver's seat. I just uh, unboxed it a little bit. And of course you can see just how bad it is. But Ahin can actually put more uh, foam or sponge in here and then redo that. I got I got a sneaking suspicion the back seats are okay. I got a sneaky suspicion because it doesn't even look like the uh, they've been sat on. So yeah I think I think these are these are gonna be okay. I hope. At least one small win. There we go. Yeah. Yeah it's dirty. Fresh fresh new I love the fact that the Rimba Sea still has those caps. Amazing. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Ken, thank you very much. Hang, thank you.
very good very good stay tuned folks more to come take care y'all bye a few moments later hey okay, here we go folks let's see how dirty the oil is it's a big lug nut careful your hand okay oh yeah there we go quite dirty also yeah. and very thick very thick actually so we're going to use mineral oil this car is <laughs> more than 40 years old so we're going to use mineral oil for this car but there we go done small engine 1.2 And now, moving back, gearbox oil and rear differential oil. Okay, folks, this is what I wanted to see. This is the rear differential, or AKA Excel. And uh, this is the oil I suspect. Hey, okay lah, not too bad, it's still golden. Not too bad, not too bad, it's still gold. Good, so I think maybe it's been changed before. You'd be amazed how many rear-wheel drive cars the uh, XL oil has not been changed. But this looks okay. This looks alright. Well done, well done. Nice. So, let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that, but the rear diff is still in good condition. I didn't know I could turn on my torch light while recording great and the third and last gearbox yeah, as I noticed a bit of leak here as well so we're gonna check the gaskets but oh okay that's bad when it looks like uh, kopi tare yeah that's that's not good the gearbox oil not so good bro. Quite uh, quite bad like Kopitare like that. It's like caramel. And very little. Okay, so that's it. The car is dry except for fuel and radiator water, which we're gonna wash later. It's dry, no more oils. Uh, oh of course sorry, brake fluid as well. But the brakes are running good. Yeah, Viking tires in front. Good years at the back. Hopefully no more blowouts. Right, thanks for watching folks and I'll talk to you all soon. More, lots more on the KE30 coming. Take care you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.